awesome. I was talking to my dad and he wants me to do one more cut. I wasn't planning on doing it. And I'm gonna crank up the SFM to 1000 and I'm gonna crank up the feed rate from 20 thousandths per revolution to 24 thousandths. That's insane. I'm actually kind of worried if the tool can do it or not. I really hope that this works. That was absolutely insane. Everybody's good. Yeah. So that wraps up the roughing operations on our 15.5 part. Take a close look at this tool. Every single cutting edge is chipped for at least half of the length of the flute. It's even missing a corner. So what happens when you take a damaged end mill, throw it in a tool holder, and then go full slotting an inch deep through 1018 steel? Let's find out. It's go time. <laughs> One of the things I find really incredible about these end mills is that as the cutting edge chips and breaks down, the tool basically resharpens itself almost like an arrowhead. With any other end mill I've ever used, once you have chipping on the tool and you're missing corners, the tool is pretty much going to disintegrate immediately. These incredible end mills are available in our online store at a great discount and buying from us helps to support free education. Now I've got a big piece of 316 stainless that I'm going to be roughing out with a Kinemetal 7792 high feed mill. Here we go. Come on now, come on now. Woo! Man, that looks so nice, I might leave my wife. Oh, don't tell her I said that.
since we're not running through the spindle coolant, I knew this tool was gonna have a hard time getting these chips out of that hole. So what I did is I broke the depth up into two separate depths. That made the chips a lot shorter and easier for it to blow the chips out. our slotting at 15 inches per minute to avoid shocking the tool. Then as soon as we're 100% engaged, we're increasing our feed rate to 30 inches per minute. there which is pretty incredible in stainless steel. Oh man, now we're going to do some full slotting for real. <laughs> 